Reentry is an abnormal mechanism of impulse travel, mostly seen in the heart cells. This phenomenon gives rise to arrhythmias. In a normal heart, cells become refractory for some period of time as an impulse travels through them. For an explanation of refraction, watch the video titled, How Does Refraction in the Heart Cells Work? Refraction helps keep the impulse traveling in a specific direction by preventing depolarization of the cells that impulse just passed through. Hence, an impulse cannot travel backwards and moves only forward. Sometimes there is a stray impulse that tries to enter the refractory cells and start the process again, but it can't due to the refractory state of the cells. This stray impulse can become successful in re-entering if the path it takes becomes longer, for example when the heart is abnormally dilated. In such cases, the impulse reaches the cells that have gotten out of the refractory state and successfully depolarizes them. Another possibility is that one side of the traffic circle is damaged. It makes the impulse to go slow. This slow-moving impulse reaches the refractory cells with a delay. This delay has enabled the cells to become polarized again and ready for the re-entry. Note that the result of re-entry is arrhythmias. We will discuss this cause with the corresponding arrhythmias. Enough, it can depolarize the cell. Here we see that a cell in the relatively refractory period is depolarized. There are five classes of sustained supraventricular arrhythmias. 1. Supraventricular tachycardia, or PSVT. 2. Atrial fibrillation. 3. Atrial flutter. 4. Multifocal atrial tachycardia, or MAT. And 5. Paroxysmal atrial tachycardia, or PAT. For visual learners, here is a guy, Matt, paling a fine flute. To remember this to be atrial arrhythmias, imagine them both standing and shivering in the cold of the atria land. You can remember these by this fun mnemonic. Powerful and super very tacky fine flute disliked Matt's pat. Let's discuss these types one by one. We will start with the PSVT. Class 1 is paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, PSVT. It is also called AV nodal reentrant tachycardia. This arrhythmia can start suddenly. Just as abruptly, this arrhythmia will stop as well. The arrhythmia can start after a premature atrial contraction, or PAC, which can be either atrial or junctional in nature. Clinically, the patient can present palpitation shortness of breath, dizziness, and syncope. Do you know that people can develop PSVT when they consume excessive coffee, alcohol, or generally are excited by some news or event? Here are important characteristics of the PSVT. 1. It is absolutely regular but fast rhythm. 2. Heart beats from 150 to 250 BPM. There are many types of PSVT based on the mechanism of the fast rhythm. Most common type is where AV node is involved in a re-entrant rhythm. This is called AV nodal re-entrant tachycardia. Now let's talk about the EKG changes. Rhythm is regular but fast. Most important observations are 1. P waves may be absent. 2. P waves in the V1 may be superimposed on the QRS complex as the pseudo-R wave. 3 no P waves at all as the atrial depolarization is buried in the QRS complex. 4. QRS complex is usually normal in width. PSVT can also occur due to the bundle branch blocks, or BBB. We will discuss this with the bundle branch blocks. We will soon study that paroxysmal atrial tachycardia, or PAT, also looks very similar to the PSVT on the EKG strip. Hence you cannot usually differentiate between them. One possibility is to see abnormal rhythm before or after this EKG presentation. This is called warming up and cooling down period and is an indicator of the PAT. Another possible way to differentiate is carotid massage. Carotid massage usually slows down the PSVT, but not the PAT. PSVT is also difficult to separate from the ventricular tachycardia, or VT. We will discuss the multipoint criteria that helps us suspect one over the other in the lecture, How do I differentiate between the PSVT and VT? As mentioned before, carotid massage can help stop PSVT. To learn carotid massage, watch our video, 
on how to perform the carotid massage. Considerations and contraindications. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible, share it with your friends as well.